Hi, my name is Christopher. I have HSV2 down here. And disclaimer, this is not medical advice. If you want less information, talk to a doctor. I want to tell you guys today the biggest tip or the biggest habit that you need to get into post-diagnosis. That is going to be getting a journal and journaling your outbreaks. Now, why I say this. First things first, I think it's important to journal just in general, whether it's to get your thoughts out or to write down your feelings or just write down different points or thoughts or beliefs that you have about yourself post-diagnosis because it's going to be a lot easier to get your thoughts out on paper and then refer back to them other than just constantly living in a just state of chaos like in your brain. I used to never journal and I just felt that when I even did five minutes a day, it would help me kind of get my thoughts on paper and kind of like a brain dump. Now, the other reason why I think it's important to journal, especially your outbreaks, is you want to kind of notice things. So. How many outbreaks are you having? I had a lot, I wrote them all down. Uh, things I always include in my journal when it comes to outbreaks is like symptoms, amount of possible symptoms, uh, length of the actual outbreak, on a scale of one to 10, like how painful is it? What other kind of symptoms did I notice? Do I have any like physical ailments as well? And then what happened around the time of your outbreak? So were you extra stressed? Did you have a terrible diet, not sleeping enough, you know, working really hard, other illnesses? Was it possibly around the time of your period for the ladies? You want to write these things down so that over time, if you are to have frequent outbreaks or even more than one, you can kind of notice characteristics or patterns when you're having your outbreaks because this can kind of give you some insight into like, hey, seems like my triggers are like stress and not sleeping enough. and you can kind of work on these things because honestly, you can look online and you can hear other people say like, oh, this causes herpes outbreaks. These are my triggers, but everyone is gonna be different. And I think it's important to take a look at yourself so that you can figure out what is causing you to have outbreaks or if there's a pattern or something like that. But that's been one huge tip for me. I've been able to look back and say like, hmm, probably stress causes most of them, but could also just be the circumstances of a new diagnosis because you're typically gonna have more outbreaks in your first year and then they're slowly gonna subside, even if you have frequent ones. But I definitely suggest that small suggestion, get a journal, whether it's for tracking your outbreaks or just tracking your thoughts. I think it really helps. And if you guys have any more questions regarding this or maybe some different journal entries or journal templates or something we can all do together, let me know. Leave me a comment and extra help is gonna be linked in the description box. Love you, miss you, hope you're doing well. See you next video.